Dear friends, welcome back to Automate with Rakesh. In this video, let us go through another question from the practice test on the computer vision topic. So let's read the question. How does the screen refresh button function in the computer vision wizard? So it is asking how does it work? What is the use of screen refresh button? That is the question. So we, I'm going to read all these options for you. But before that, let us open the documentation. So this link I have provided in the description of the video. Pick it up from there or else you can simply search UiPath computer vision. You will get this page. Now here in the second page of computer vision, I'm going to pass the link. So pick it from that. Now here there is something called screen refresh. If you slightly scroll down. Now we will read this documentation completely. But let me first show you the practical. Then we will read this, capture the important point and then answer this question. OK, all right. So all set. Let's get started. Now the very first thing for computer vision practical, the very first activity as documented is you have to drag and drop the CV screen scope activity to your designer panel. This is the very first step. After that, keep your application open, which you like to automate which mostly will be on a Citrix environment, not on your com normal computer. You will have a virtual desktop where this application is running, where your selectors will not function. There you would like to automate using the CV screen activities or the computer vision activities. Let us go to Yapa Studio. Here I'm going to click on indicate on screen or simply hit on I. Let me hit on indicate on screen. Now I'm going to keep the mouse pointer to the right so that it selects the maximum portion of the application. Now, if I do this, you can see the application name is rpachallenge.com. Now, what it what it has done, it has taken the image of that application. Then it has sent to the neural network server of UiPath, which analyzed the image and then it identified all the different UI elements present inside this application. When I say UI elements, submit button is an UI element. This text boxes are UI elements. This labels phone number is a UI element. Company name is a label is a UI element. So it has identified all the UI elements present in the target application. This much we have understood. Let me hit on escape to come out of the image. If you want to see the image, click on it. Come out escape done. Now the next thing what I'm going to do, I'm going to drag and drop the CV click activity. Let's say for certain reason, there is a change in the application. Let's say today you have automated and tomorrow when you're coming, you see instead of submit button, the name has changed to upload. Now, how can you do it practically? Let me show you right click on the page, hit on inspect. And this is going to temporarily stay. It is not going to impact the website. It is just going to stay temporarily until you refresh the button. Okay. For experiment purpose, I think this should be fine. I'm going to type upload. So instead of submit, the button name is going to change to upload. Type it here. Click it outside. So it is there under elements. Okay. Now what would happen? The application now changed to upload. Let me go back to the studio. Here I have dragged and dropped the CV click activity. Now, when I click on indicate on scope, what it's going to show me, just wait for a few seconds. See what it is showing. It is showing me the screenshot which was captured by the CV screen scope activity. So it is showing me this, act, this particular screenshot and telling me, okay, from this screenshot, you select which element you would like to click. However, I noticed the submit button has now been renamed in the application today to upload. In such a case, there is an option provided by UiPath in the indicate on scope. So when you click on this, this there is a window that will that is going to appear. In this window, I have an option called screen refresh. You can see the screen is still showing me the screenshot taken from the CV screen scope activity with the submit. So I want to refresh the screen. So all you do hit on screen refresh or hit on F5. Anything is going to work. Let me hit on screen refresh. Now this is the button. Okay, upload button. So you can see this is the new button. So you can see what happened. The screen refresh has been done and it has noticed there's a new change called upload. I'm going to click on this. So what happened? 
a new screenshot has been taken now if you see initially we had only this right submit button and the number has changed from one screenshot to two screenshots now let me open the second screenshot so what happened in the second screenshot we have the new change now that means when you apply it on an activity label it is going to also refresh your cv screen scope so the cv screen scope now understands hey it could be either submit button or the recent one which is taken as upload that also could be an option okay so if i click on this two of two and you can see upload has been captured so the the cv screen scope understand the button now has been changed to upload now when i'm going to run this okay when i'm going to run this what would happen it is going to see where is that upload button and going to click on it initially when you for the very first time when you run it it might take a bit of time you can see it has the button has come here and it should click on upload that takes a lot of time all you do simply run it again just so, so that you can see the difference look at look at the mouse pointer see it has come to the upload button and trying to click on it getting it and one more thing in this the, the, there is something called descriptor okay in the properties panel click on the descriptor in the descriptor also if you see the text has changed from submit earlier it was submit change to upload it will take the new name getting it so this much is understood let's quickly jump onto the documentation and then we will answer this so what the documentation says the screen refresh can be done by f5 button it can be used at design time in case something changes in the target app this is very important when you are using in case something changes in the target app just now i have shown you practically enabling you to send a new picture to the computer vision server to be analyzed again you got it okay so this is the point now let us answer the question what is the question here how does the screen refresh button function in the computer vision widget first option it updates the ui element of the target app with new positions and properties this mostly looks like a right answer let's read the second one it restarts the computer vision neural network server in case of errors no it doesn't restart the server third it sends a new picture to the computer vision server to be analyzed again if something changes in the target this is more appropriate right it updates the ui element of the target app with new positions and properties uh, uh, so it was slightly uh, you know mis misguiding but the third option looks appropriate right it sends the new picture to the computer vision server to be analyzed again as per the documentation correct okay uh, fourth one it refreshes the target app by closing and no this doesn't so this is the right answer getting it so this is the right answer now let us face some other alternative questions that is personally prepared by me which might help you to you know when the options are given so that you don't get confused and always select the right answer so let's see a couple of questions from my end so let's see some of the questions around the screen refresh which i have personally prepared now let's see the first question when is the screen refresh or the hotkey f5 button typically used pretty simple question during runtime at design time to create a new variables to end the automation now pause this video comment your answer doesn't doesn't matter okay people might go wrong or it might be right doesn't matter whatever first comes to your mind type it in the comment section of the video okay so the answer is at design time now let me show you the documentation so here if you see button can be used at design time while you are designing pretty simple at design time okay at, at design time this is the answer okay all right now let's see the second question when is it appropriate when is it appropriate to use the screen refresh button during the automation development process so when it is appropriate to restart at the entire automation workflow to restart the automation workflow no wrong answer when you want to add a new step to the workflow c when something changes in the target applications interface option d 
when you need to configure the computer vision server. Now type your answer. Pause the video, type your answer. Okay, so let me reveal the answer. The correct answer for this is C. When something changes in the target applications interface. Correct? If something changes, that is where we will do it, right? So when you do it, if something changes in the target app. So these words are very important. Something changes in the target app. Clear? Okay. Now let us answer the next question. After performing a screen refresh in UiPath computer vision activities and capturing a new image in the CV screen scope activity, what is the next step that occurs in the process? Okay. So once you have done this, so read this question carefully. After performing a screen refresh in UiPath computer vision activities and capturing the new image, you have done the new image in the CV screen scope activity. What is the next step that occurs in the process? So the options are the new image is immediately used to execute the automation workflow. Is it right? Option B, the old image is retained and the new image is discarded. Is it right? C, the current state of the application is added. The current state of the application is added as a new screen to the cast screen list. Is it added? Do we remove the old image or we still just add the new image. Cast means you are adding cast screen list as a new screen to the cast screen list. Option D, the new image is sent to the computer vision neural network for further analysis. Now pause this video, take your time, comment your answer. Okay, comment your answer. So let me reveal the answer. The re answer is option number C. The current state of the application is added as a new screen to the cast screen list. So let me show you this. Now, how do you get it? So when you do a screen refresh, if you highlight your mouse, it clearly tells you if you read the gray rectangle, right? Adds the current state of the application as a new screen to the cast screen list. So it is, it will take the current state of the application, whatever the button changes, UI element changes, it will take the screenshot and it's going to store that screenshot as a new screen to the cast screen list that we have seen it, right? So when we go back here, you see there are two screenshots. It doesn't remove the old previous one. It just adds okay, to the cast screen list. So if you see there are two, two images. Okay, in the second image, it has kept the upload. Getting it? So the correct answer for that is option C. So thank you guys for watching. Let's move on to our next topic.